Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to applique the orange blossom quilt. I've decided to go ahead and make it a quilt, not um, a table runner. And I've got fabric for it that I bought, and I'm going to show you the fabric that I've purchased. So let me show you the fabric first, and then I'll show you and explain what I'm doing. Here are the three types of fabric I found at the quilt shop. I went into Ellicott City. They have a quilt shop called Sew and Back. It's a really nice place. When I make a quilt, I kind of want the quilt to tell me the colors to add to it. And I had no clue what to add color-wise to that orange blossom. So when I went to the fabric store, they had just gotten this in and it looked like it would work perfectly for it. So I'm going to take a strip of this and put it down between the two white set of strips. And I'm going to show you after I get done showing you how I'm going to applique it. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Now here are the two feet that I had a choice between. I wanted an open toed because the stitch that I'm doing is called the quilting applique stitch. And I wanted to be able to see it. So I tested it with this one here first. And I wasn't sure it was going to be heavy enough on my fabric. So then I tested it with this one and I like this one better. So that's the one I'm using. I'm putting a brand new needle. It's a quilting needle. And my stitch is, the length is 1.8. The width is between 3 and 2. When I get down to the corners, I switch it up to 2. All right. And although my machine says that it's to use the J foot, which is my regular sewing machine foot, which this is right here, I'll show you. This one here. I didn't really want to use that. I want to be able to see it as it's going next to this blossom. So I'm going to put the camera in front of that and hopefully you'll be able to now see what it. What I end up doing is I move it around and it's one section. So I don't have my strips sewn together or anything. And hopefully you'll be able to see this. I put my needle in first right along the edge of this. I put my foot down and then I lock it into place first. And then I just slowly go around it and I keep my straight line on the side. And I'll show you here as it goes around the corner. And I just slowly moving the fabric around, taking my time, not going fast. I decided on a white. First I was going to use color, but I got to thinking about it and I don't want to be changing out my color that much. So I thought white would look really, really good. And if you go on the blossom itself, that's not going to hurt. The main thing is to keep it as close to the edge as you can. Now when I come down here to the end of it, that's when I put it down on the width of two because it's going to be on the end. Let's turn this around here. Let's see. Don't be afraid, you can lift your, let me get that out of the way here, your pressure foot as many times as you need to. It doesn't need to be perfect. See that? I'll move the camera here on the next one. Hold on one second. And when I come down here to the bottom, since I have to turn. Oh. And when you hear that click, and I've moved it down, is what I've done. back up and it'll be a lot of turning lifting your foot and turning <coughs> let me move it over here and see if this will help any let's see if that'll help any I'm coming up here 
towards the tail end. in what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and lock it in place and in this case I'm just moving over to the very next one Let's see if I can go. Keep this out of your way here and I don't really want to start on the corner I want to start on that side so the corner is not affected Try your best to stay right off of that piece of applique. And I've adjusted my light a couple times. I started out, I need to be practically in the dark. Because all this white is so stark. It's so bright. and the light reflects right off of it. I feel like I'm practically on top of it. careful when you clip your ends off. I clip it right before I come up on it, but you want to be careful so that you don't actually clip into your fabric. Then you'll be putting a patch on top of your applique. Okay, let me show you what so it looks Here's like. what they look like. I'm going to just continue and finish it and then when I get done I'm going to sew a strip between the two and I'll show you that. I have it up on the design wall. I went ahead and I put the strip on it. Now all I need to do is quilt it and put my binding on. And now when I get ready to quilt that and put it together I'm going to try something new so I'm going to video it and if it turns out then you guys get to see something new. But it turned out really good. I really like that. It looks better than I thought it would. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm sh sorry it's a short little uh, video, but I'm working on some other things. And by the time this one gets up, I'll be working on that next month blog of the month. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, I got a closer shot. I really can't see the... Let me go up a little bit closer to it. Let's see, there you go. But that uh, fabric turned out really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
Yep. I really like it. 